Welcome back to The Average Drinker. I'm Dara, I'm your average drinker. How the heck are you doing? I hope you're having a great day. Thanks so much for being here. Now, I am super excited to bring you this review. You probably saw on the thumbnail, this hazmat just blew my mind. Well, it literally did. I was not expecting this at all when I tried this whiskey. This whiskey that tastes like scotch that actually came from Colorado. Yeah, literally Colorado. So I had never heard of Spirit Hound. I'd maybe heard of it in passing, but I'd never been there. And I got the opportunity to go to Spirit Hound in Lyons, Colorado and try their whiskey. Got to go on this really cool tour, got to like try the white dog, which was actually incredible. Before I even tried their whiskey, I got to try their white dog and their white dog alone was great. So I got to meet Craig. Craig is the distiller there and Craig is an absolute hoot. Such a cool guy, so down to earth, just so like uncut, unfiltered, straightforward, tells it like it is, doesn't sugarcoat anything. He just shares his stories, shares his process, shares the experience about what they're doing there. And he's completely transparent. And I think it's so cool. Like it was really cool to like go experience that. So then it came down to trying the whiskey. Now I'll have to admit, I was like, I don't know what this is gonna be like cause I've never had it before. And I know that Spirit Hound, well, from doing the tour and learning about it, that they'd been around for about 10 years. So I was like, all right, we're getting some older, older whiskey. And Craig told us about how he loves scotch and a lot of his influence in his whiskey comes from scotch. So we tried it and I literally was blown away. Everything I got to try was so good. And then, and then came this pour. This has matte pour. This one comes in at 146 proof. Hazmat. It is a six-year-old whiskey. It is from, sing from single malt. <laughs> it is a straight malt whiskey. Cast strength, hazmat level, deliciousness. Absolute pure deliciousness. Now, not everyone is gonna love this bottle. Not everyone's gonna go crazy for it because if you don't like peated scotch or peated influence in your whiskey, then you probably aren't gonna go for this. So I said not everyone likes peated whiskey and you're probably like, okay, is this a peated whiskey? So yes, they actually use peated malt in their whiskey. So there's the whole backstory to this. So after trying this, I was like, holy freaking moly. I have got to tell people about Spirit Hound because I was just blown away. I really was. I was super blown away and everybody in our group was blown away. And I was like, oh my gosh, Please, I need to be able to buy a bottle of this whiskey. Like I have to be able to buy a bottle of this whiskey. Turns out they didn't have any, they had none. But Craig was so kind to give me the little bit of this that was left so I could share it with you guys and tell you about it. So now that I've got my whole spiel in, thank you for being here. Let's dive into this review and let me tell you why I fell in love with this whiskey. So as you can tell, it's a beautiful dark amber color. It really is a nice color. Ah, on the nose. This is like an absolute vanilla bomb. It's a pure vanilla bomb. You get caramel. Like some of the influence that you would get in like bourbon comes through, like vanilla and caramel. Then there's a little bit of oak, but then you get some of that maltiness. You smell some of that maltiness. It's so rich on the nose. And crazy enough, at 146 proof, this does not burn my nose hairs. I'm shocked. I literally am so shocked. Ah, smells amazing. Now, let's taste it. Oh, wow. Right up front, you get this like rich burst of vanilla, some caramel, and then it warms. And it warms into this nice, rich, chocolatey, velvety peat this really nice peat then pulls through on the very back end. And you can definitely tell it's warm in the very back of your throat. Like when you, like it, does, it doesn't hit your tongue that way. In fact, it hits your tongue and it's pretty sweet. It's malty. It's just really, really nice. And then it just flows into that peat and it's so enjoyable. It's so delicious. Ah, oh, like chocolate, vanilla, caramel, peat, rich, like even a little bit of like dark cherry in there. It's just tastes Phenomenal. Oh, I gotta take one more sip here. Mm. It's so creamy. Oh, it's like velvety, 
creaminess rolling off your tongue as if you scooped the sherbet, like that when it rolls into a little roll. Yeah, that is how nice this is. And I love like that peaty pepper in it, pepperiness on the very back of my palate. It's so good. And the finish just sits there. And you can just sit and you can taste all the flavor. And it's just phenomenal. And it does not drink like 146 proof at all. In fact, it literally drinks like it's like 110 to 115 proof. So it's really nice, really great. And I really, I'm just so blown away by this. This is so good. If you like scotch, you like like malted whiskey, like it's just, if you like that style of whiskey, you have got to go to Spirit Hound in Colorado. Check it out. If you're in Colorado, check it out. I know that I personally just love my experience so much that anytime I see that they're releasing these 375s of their like cash strength or any, honestly anything that they're releasing like this, I'm gonna rush there and I'm gonna get it and I'm gonna be there because I love it so much. And literally this is not an ad. This is just pure enjoyment of a whiskey that made me feel so fired up and so excited because it's literally in my backyard. Can you beat that? You can't, you can't. You literally cannot beat that. So I'm so excited for what Spirit Hound is doing, from, for what they're bringing, and that's why I'm gonna give this one a great score because, not because of what they're doing, well, because of what's in this glass. What's in this glass is fantastic, and this one is gonna get 4.25 corks out of five it's great highly recommend it and like i said if you guys are ever in colorado you ever have the opportunity to try spirit hound get out here do it highly recommend it and that's my review that's why i love this so much and i'm so freaking excited for them and i'm just so grateful to craig for the experience you've got to go meet him he's such a great guy so awesome so anyhow whew, 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 i was all over the place as always, thank you guys so much for watching The Average Drinker. I'm Dara, and I'll see you next time.